Welcome to your weekly workout. Today we are going to be doing an upper body workout. All you need are a couple sets of dumbbells and a bench. This is a super setting workout and you know, to be quite honest with you, we don't do a lot of supersets in our Lift Get Lean programming anymore. We do them occasionally, but sometimes you're short on time and this is a 30 minute workout that's going to get all angles of your upper body and we're going to get started. First, we have a incline bench dumbbell fly with some bicep curls. So I've got my bench already set up at an angle. Let me grab my dumbbells. So with that fly, we're working our chest and you want to open your arms and act like you're hugging a tree. So I'm going to extend my arms up and overhead, open my elbows out. There's a slight bend in my elbows. I'm going to squeeze my chest to bring my weights back to that starting position. So we're gonna do 15 of these. Go to where you feel a stretch and then a squeeze. A stretch and then a squeeze. After you finish your 15, we're going to do a set of seated bicep curls. So I'm gonna switch out weights here. I've got my arms by my sides, palms face up. And we're doing 15 of these as well. So really squeeze your biceps, control it on the way down. After you finish your prescribed reps, you're going to wait 30 seconds. And then you're going to start with your incline dumbbell flies up at the top. And we're gonna do three supersets total. So it goes like this, incline bench, Bicep curls, rest 30 seconds. Incline um, flies, incline flies, bicep curls, rest 30 seconds. So these two exercises, that's what makes up the superset. Then we're going to move on. We have got a uh, dumbbell bench press and then dips. So I'm gonna take these weights again, flatten out my bench. <laughs> Going to lay back. So I've got a bend in my elbows and I'm, I'm all set up and show you the angle that I have. Push the weights towards the ceiling, bend the elbows down and then push back up. And we're doing 12 of these. Now I'm going to sit up so you can see the angle. When I go down, for my bench press, my elbows don't go out wide to the sides. I'm not making a 90 degree bend with my elbows here. I'm going, I'm making a W shape with my arms. So it's not a wide rectangle, if you will, it's a zigzag. Your arms are gonna make a W shape, just like we do when we do our push ups. Then we've got our bench dips. Come to the edge of your bench, and the fingers will roll off the edge. Your hips are, as clo are close to the bench, but you have enough room that you can lower down and then come back up. Elbows are gonna shoot out behind you. They can go out just a little bit, but we don't want them going like to the opposite walls. So a little bit of an angle as well. Keep your chest nice and open and don't let your shoulders roll forward. And we are doing 15 of those. So again, you'll do your dumbbell bench press, you'll do your dips, wait 30 seconds. Bench press, dips, wait 30 seconds. Three supersets total. Then we're shifting to the back side of the body. We have got a neutral grip row and then a two angle bicep curl. So with this row, you'll pick up your heavier weights. Palms are going to face in. I'm going to hinge at my hips, find a slight diagonal. I'm going to draw my elbows back behind me and bring my hands toward my hips and then lower the weights with control. So squeeze, lower, squeeze, lower. One mistake we see people do is they pull their elbows up towards the ceiling rather than back behind them. We're doing 15 of these. Then we've got our curls. 
So grab your lighter weights. And I kind of remember this move from like body pump. If you guys, if you ever did body pump back in the day, so one arm is gonna go forward, and one arm is going out to the side. Lower, rotate, one arm forward out to the side. So each side is one rep. So one, one, two, two. You're gonna go all the way to ten. After your bicep curls, rest 30 seconds, start back at the top with your dumbbell rows. Curls, rest 30 seconds, rows, curls on the next superset. Then we have got a neutral grip, shoulder press, and a seated, oh, this next one is hard. Okay, <laughs> the shoulders are coming. So I'll talk about the shoulder presses or the lateral raise as soon as I get there. Let's start with our neutral shoulder press. We've got our weights. And if you're using heavy weights, you need a little help getting them up. Use your thighs and you kick them up. So like that. So it's a neutral position, palms stay in. I'm gonna push overhead, lower down, press overhead, lower down, press overhead. We are doing 10 of those. Thank goodness that's heavy and hard. Now for the seated lateral raise, not necessarily heavy, but it's going to feel heavy. One arm is going to be doing lateral raises while the other arm is holding that static lateral raise out to the side. So here we go. <laughs> Lots of positive self-talk. Arms go out. We're gonna do 10 lateral raises on the right. Pretend I've done nine, 10 switch sides. So this is gonna be a burner. You might wanna have your extra light weights around. When you're done with 10 on each side, whoo, rest for 30 seconds, and then start back at the top with your neutral overhead press. And then we're gonna finish this off with a rear delt fly or a rear delt raise. So I'm gonna grab those and later weights once again. And I'm gonna stay seated here. And we're just gonna hinge forward over our bench. I'm gonna move my bench to the side because I wanna stay centered. There we go. Now, I've got my dumbbells in each hand. I'm going to lean forward. And I'm gonna turn my pinkies out, lead with my pinkies, and lift the weights out to the sides. Think about leading with your elbows. I want to show you that from the side as well. Imagine I'm still seated. You could also do it bent over like this. Think about moving your pinkies out and away from you. And you're going to do three sets of 15 of those and rest about a minute in between your sets of rear delt flies. So this is a great workout. All the supersets, enjoy it and let me know how you do.